Hey everybody, uh, this is Jason Stallings and I uh, just wanted to do a quick video about uh, something I encountered recently, or two things. Uh, it's kind of a business discussion and uh, first of all, uh, it's February 4th and uh, we just had a snowstorm in Dallas but it's uh, not too bad, as, not as bad as last year so it's kind of pretty outside. Uh, in any case, um, recently I saw a movie with Andy Garcia uh, about the artist Modigliani. Um, and I also was recently approached by a gallery in New York uh, that I found very quickly was uh, what's known as a vanity gallery. Um, the person, the representative of the gallery was very polite, very professional. And uh, I have actually um, had some interactions with this gallery in the past, but um, after reviewing their business model and how they operate, uh, I, a few red flags kind of showed up and it's things that I've encountered before. So um, to kind of start the discussion, a vanity gallery is um, called that because they, it, it's, it's pretty much a slight. They, the gallery is charging the artist for uh, use of their space and their time, and in this case, uh, marketing fees. Um, and some other businesses, this might be viable, but in the art world, this is uh, pretty much a scam. Uh, most galleries, uh, with the possible exception of co-op galleries, um, to degree run on a business model where the artist uh, work arrives at the gallery, it's installed and hung and shown for a period of time and um, purchasers are courted by the gallerists. Uh, they do marketing work, they more or less hustle to get the work sold. So uh, what's different with the vanity gallery and why the um, fee, and in this case it was a fee of 35 or just under $3,500 and uh, the frequency is not stated on the site but uh, I've encountered things like this before like that frequency can be anywhere from a month to three months at a time um, and this is incredibly problematic because uh, from a business perspective from the artist perspective uh, and the galleries too it, it more or less it removes the incentive for the gallery to really uh, push for the work to be sold. Um, the language in this gallery, uh, and, and it's understandable, and a gallery should say this because kind of have to, uh, they state that there's no guarantee the work will be sold. That's also how the, uh, you know, the art gallery system works. But uh, in this case, the artist is essentially paying for a unstable non-guaranteed service that uh, they very likely will never see return on. And I've done work uh, with galleries similar to this. Um, now traditionally for what's appropriate is a gallery may charge a $20 fee, $30. I've seen this high as 50, I don't agree with that. I don't think artists should support that, but I've seen it up that high. Um, for a group exhibition or a solo exhibition. Um, but I, ideally, ethically, I feel like 20 to $30 is acceptable. But when you get up to like $3,500 in a regular frequency like that, like it should send off huge alarm bells. So um, in this case, I um, just very politely declined uh, the offer of the gallery, um, I, I think, which is really to uh, any artist's um, really professional well-being to do so. Uh, and this kind of gets into where I talk about the Modigliani movie. Um, I don't know how accurate that film is. <clears throat> Andy Garcia does do a pretty good job of maybe playing himself as an artist. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know enough about the personality of Modigliani to know if it's accurate, but uh, 
I mean, gosh, at every turn, this artist is like constantly self-sabotaging. And I, I think it, like he insults gallery owners. He starts a fight with Picasso, which may have been real. Um, I don't know. But uh, he's just constantly undercutting his own professional image for the sake of, um, you know, just his own pride and vanity. Um, so, uh, you know, that being said, Modigliani paintings go for quite a lot these days, so what do we know? But, um, you know, I, I think it's really important to distinguish uh, and make a distinction between the difference between self-sabotage and kind of self-awareness and knowing your business and your market and advocating for yourself as an artist and a professional because uh, those are two very different things and um, you know it's one thing to throw drinks in the faces of uh, potential buyers and gallerists and collectors and consultants and it's a totally different thing to just simply be like you know what um, I just don't think this professionally makes sense and won't work out there's nothing wrong with saying that. I, I think that uh, if there's any, you know, wisdom that can be gained is, uh, especially if you're a young artist, like volunteering for a gallery will help you immensely in kind of understanding these concepts. So uh, that being said, um, uh, there are certain galleries, certain art shows that really should not be supported for the sake of not reinforcing a bad uh, business model. And um, there's a slight distinction with uh, comp galleries because in theory, the artists that are collectively represented in these shows do uh, retain profit that is shared. Um, literally, it's literally a co-op uh, with all of the artists who are in the gallery. Um, now, sometimes in, in cases like this, like that may lead to a inconsistency in quality in shows. I've seen it many times, but uh, that's ethically better than a gallery that's literally just going to take your money and run with it. Um, and in some cases, the, they may just sell work that's just not very good, um, just because the artist has invested a lot of money uh, into what is essentially a multi-level marketing scam, uh, just calling it what it is. Um, so yeah, don't, if you're an artist and you're new to the, the profession, please do not participate in things like this. Don't be goaded or manipulated into thinking you need to do that. Um, I think it's important to understand that uh, in, in art is a profession that takes endurance and uh, it's not always easy, but you should never feel pressured or um, you know, goaded into thinking you have to participate in a business model like this just to survive. Um, so with that being said, I hope you found this informative and thank you for watching. Uh, if, if you're interested in checking out my work, please visit jason-stallings.com. Uh, I have links to prints uh, available and originals if you're interested. Talk to you soon. Bye.